there is no God in heaven because heaven is created by him. Yeah. And the question is where he was okay. when he created heaven. Yeah. He was in his throne. L Lucifer was uh, used to reside in heaven? Yes, as a worshiper, as an angel. As, as an angel, yes. worshiping whom? I'm talking about the born again. I'm talking about people who have accepted Christ, continuing in sin. Continuing in sin. Yeah. It's a decision because we are going to hell. They're going to hell? Yes. Okay. Lucifer was uh, used to reside in heaven? Yes. Today in the studio, I'm with Apostle Jackson Mukwena, and our topic is cosmological argument. Uh, Apostle, tell me a little bit about yourself. Yes, my name is Apostle Jackson Mukwena, and I'm leading church by the name of Wade House Global Church. It's in the Sotu Maseru and other districts. Again, we have a church in Tlaxnop in the forest, we have a church in Carltonville, how do you forge know, people? How long have you been pastoring? I became a pastor in 2016, but um, I'm a pastor child. I grew up in the church. Were you ordained as an apostle? Yes, I was ordained as an apostle. Yeah. Yes. When were you ordained? I was ordained in 2015. Do you believe in the existence of God? I believe in the existence of God. Which God? God in heaven. The white God that you see? Not the, the white. pictures or the another one? Not the white God we see the pictures, but <coughs> God in spirit. God is spirit? Yes. I used to say to people, okay. if I believe it's, 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 it's Tuesday or it's Sunday today, I believe that God is here. Because I cannot touch okay. Sunday. Okay. I cannot see Sunday. But I what is Sunday? Sunday means it's a day that we choose. To worship God. Is it not the day of worshiping the sun? That's why it's called Sunday. I, I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. People can put it in their own way. Yeah. They can say they worship sun, it's a Sunday, yeah. whatever. But personally, us as Christians, we choose it as a day to worship God. Okay. Yet we worship God all the days, yeah. but because it's a day, it's, it's a holiday, and then it's a day where we gather, we worship God, yeah. we praise God. It's a decision yeah. from us, yes. Remember that this program is called Cosmological Arguments and yeah. there will be some attacking questions. Yes. Yeah. Um, you said you believe in the existence of God. You also believe in the existence of the adversary, the devil. Yes, I believe. Okay. I believe. And you, who created the devil? According to the scriptures, God is himself created the devil. God created was the one, devil. one of the okay. angels okay. and the very angel on the high level. Okay. Yes. What about ancestors? Do you believe in ancestors? I don't believe on that. Okay. There is no there's such as ancestors. There's nothing like that. The Bible says when somebody's dead, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Yes. Okay. When you die, where do you go? Um, if we bury you on the graves, you shall remain on the space until Jesus comes. You'll arise. There are those who are in the space of graves where they are waiting for the trumpet and the day of the Lord. And they will arise on that day from the graves. That's what the Bible says in the book of Revelation. Graves will be opened mm. and the dead will arise. The dead will rise, yes. incorruptible, in, and we shall be changed. We shall be changed. And we meet him in the sky. Yes. Uh, we meet a uh, white Jesus. Not white Jesus, but okay. Jesus himself. We can. Uh, what do you say about the pictures, the paintings that we see of the Last Supper of... Jesus with uh, why Jesus with his disciples. There are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are the pictures. Let me say this: we we believe that there was um, Nelson Mandela. We believe that there was um, people who went before, but we will just create pictures so that the ones who are coming, so they can believe. There are people who believe on pictures and they could they contact mm -hmm. the pictures. Mm -hmm. So as, as as a person who work with children, when I was 
I was in school and whatever. Then we believe on doing the art. We, we contact people from the art. Sometimes you can say, this is a picture. Jesus was like this, but he's not Jesus. Okay. So you, you are born again, right? I am born again. You're born yes. again, and then you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, tell me about church governance. Which church governance do you use in your parish? I think the church governance, yeah. it's when you build your own doctrine. Okay. You set up your people, you put your yeah. people yeah. according to your own doctrine. Yeah. I think everyone, like when Paul speaks, it's not the same like when Peter speaks. Okay. Or everyone have his own system, own governance, how they run the things. Okay, there's episcopal church governance and you also have congregational church governance. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, they are those who use congregational church governance. They yeah. also bring a little bit of democracy. And now, democracy and theocracy. What's the difference? I think they are the ones who are coming and say, "I'm a prophet. I'm an apostle. I'm, a, I'm an evangelist." The Lord said, "We, I must do this, and people must just follow the instruction." But there are these ones who say, who comes and say, "Let the congregation decide on some other issues." especially technical issues mm. and then choosing some other leaders choosing some other elders yeah. choosing some other departments and people can come with their own expertise okay. we don't call it a democracy we call the specializations there are people who come as an as an accountant to church so i cannot take somebody do you appoint people or the, it is the church that appoints there are places where i appoint yeah. based to the lead of the holy spirit yeah. But there are times where I allow a church to come and decide and appoint the people okay. based on their specialization and leadership. Yeah. Yes. Okay, when you, when you allow the church to do that, that means you are using a little bit of democracy. People should vote. They vote, yeah. they decide is in that, their own way. Yeah, in their in own their way. Own way. Yeah. But, but, but is that in line with the word of God? It is in line with the word of God. The Bible, the Bible says there was a time when people were gathered together and they choose some other people to represent them. Mm -hmm. some where other where is it written? I think in the book of, um, in, in the Old Testament. In, in the, the Old book, Testament. In the book, Old Testament, mm -hmm. there were a time where people rebelled. They chose Korah to represent them. Yeah, but they chose somebody to represent them, but in a very rebellious way. Yeah. But there is other That was the Korah spirit. You're talking about the Korah spirit. Yes, yeah, but it, God opened the uh, ground and they were swallowed up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But, again, but they meaning that they were transgressing. Mm -hmm. They were transgressing. God. But there is an another way in the good way again, mm -hmm. where people will gather and say, "We choose this particular leader to represent yeah. us." Technically, it's an administrative result. Yeah. Yes. We, we call it a democracy, whereby you allow them to say, "Guys." So what is the what is what's the that's why I want you to tell me the difference of theocracy mm -hmm. and democracy. And theocracy is when somebody is called, is appointed, is called to yeah. lead the people yeah. spiritually yeah. and trained yeah. spiritually to be a pastor, a prophet and whatever. He's leading people, this person, and then yeah. based to the scriptures, based to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But democracy is when people decide on a certain project. L let me say this quickly. Yeah. There are times in the church when we do the project, not spiritual project, oh, yeah. just project on doing the feeding people, and then going out and reaching people through different activities uh -huh. and then events where we, we choose people uh -huh. to do that who are specializing on doing that, who are leading the program. So you, you believe that God exists, right? I believe that God exists. And if, what if there's no God? There is. There is. How do you know? How do you convince me that there's God? As long as I feel the wind, there is God. I don't as see long as wind. you? I feel the wind, there is God. Okay. I don't want to do scriptures first. Yeah. As long as <laughs> there is a rain oh, coming yeah. in, whatever, there is God. As long as there is a okay. sunshine, there is God. Yeah. As long Describe as. Describe God. He's he a creator. Some... And unfortunately, I cannot describe him, but I Does know it, he's here. The Bible speaks about the hand of God, that the hand of God is not too short, that it cannot save. Does, Does he have a hand? I believe, because we are created like him. Okay. There is the hand. There is the eyes of God. Okay. So yeah. God is human. Not human as such, but He's but, got a hand. But 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 there is a He's hand got, of the God. Hand, the hand of God. That's why. Uh, but that's why the, the hand is what you're showing me here. There's hand. Right? Yeah, there's hand. Yeah. But spiritually, there is a hand of God. That's why, as I said, there's a, that's, the spot of God is upon me, yeah. and then 
and there's a time when he, he produced that there is the hand of God, the hand of God is with us. Yeah. There's a time when God is fighting for us. We say it's his hand. Mm. We, we, we design it according to the scripture. The, and then you also believe in heaven? I believe in heaven. There give, is me a heaven. Little, give me a glimpse of heaven. How does it look like? Let me say this, heaven is a place. That, that's why Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Mm. Go into heaven. Heaven is a place, is a throne. Other people, they used to say, God is in heaven. No, God is not in heaven. God is in his throne. That's why heaven... God is, God is what? Is not in heaven. He's not in heaven. He, he stays in his throne. Is, 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 is in his throne. Yes, not in heaven. Where is the throne of God? The throne of God is where God is sitting. Yeah. Yes, where we shall appear and God, be judged. God sits on the throne. You know, his throne. And when yes. is that throne? Where is that throne? The it's throne is it's where God it is. Okay. So, so John, when he saw the throne of God in heaven in Revelation yes. 4, it was not in heaven, right? Why I'm saying it's not in heaven because God created heaven and earth where he was when he created heaven yeah. and earth when he was. Why I'm saying there is no God in heaven because heaven is created by him. Yeah. And the question is where he was okay. when he created heaven. Yeah. He was in his throne. L Lucifer was uh, used to reside in heaven? Yes, as a worshiper, as an angel. As an angel, yes. worshiping whom? The same God, but in heaven. heaven in heaven yes that's what i'm saying there was a time that god used mm -hmm. to dwell in heaven and there was a time that he, he moved from heaven okay let me say this quickly okay god created heaven and earth and lucifer was presiding in heaven where we will go yeah after the judgment we'll yeah. go to heaven but heaven it's not where god stays is it a it's planet? a place is it a, when you say place is it, what do you mean is it a planet or something what is heaven I Explain think it's a, it's, it's a design planet by God, yeah. whereby us, yeah, us as human beings, whatever, we'll sit there and worship from. It's a place where we, we save his sin from. Okay, when we die, do we, you said we don't go to heaven, right? We go to heaven. We go to heaven when yes. we die? Yes. Uh, oh, what, you you, you just said we are going to be resurrected. <laughs> How do we go to heaven and be resurrected again? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We go, when we die, mm -hmm. we go to graves. And people who are dead are in graves. That's why the Bible says, they shall arise, they shall come back to life. They shall go and be judged. After judgment, there'll be heaven. That's why I'm saying, when I die... Oh, Christ, oh, people are going to be, Christians are going to be judged. Yeah. Everybody's going to be judged. Everyone will stand in the seat of judgment. Okay. Christians, uh, okay. good and bad. Okay, tell me about the judgment seat of Christ and the white throne judgment. What is the difference there? Repeat again. The so, judgment seat of mm -hmm, Christ mm -hmm. and the white throne judgment. And white throne judgment. Yeah. Which one are you talking about? I'm talking about the, the, the judgment of Christ. Whereby, we, let me say and explain yeah. this quickly. There's a time when Jesus will come and appear and then wait for us. The Bible says he will be on the cloud. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it, it's a rapture. We meet him there. Mm -hmm. we meet, it's not a judgment. We just meet him. And then it's a holy communion. Mm -hmm. And then there will be a judgment, the seat of judgment, where God will be there. And then it will, be, it will never be Jesus Christ. It will be God. So you're talking, about the, uh, you're talking about the events of the second coming of Christ and yeah. the eschatology. Yes. Sir. So, but uh, that's why I'm asking you the question of judgment. You've got the judgment seat of Christ mm -hmm. and the white throne judgment. Mm -hmm. Christians, will they go to the white throne judgment? They don't. They won't. They won't go. Okay. And so Christ already they met you. Christians who are thieves who steal, lie, and they are not Christians. Uh, they're not Christians. Yeah. Where will they go? I think they'll go to hell. So Christian, I was asking. I'm asking this question again for the second time, I mean, yeah. third time. Mm -hmm. Christians, do they lie? It happened, yeah. but it depends. After they lie, what they do? If they repent, then they will be. Be and if they don't get a chance to repent, they get a heart attack. Oh, they go to hell. Yes, because they go to hell immediately now. When you die, you go to hell if you have transgressed. Yeah, if, if I don't repent, I don't get saved. Yeah, and then salvation comes through repentance. If I don't yeah. repent, unfortunately, I'll go to hell. Yeah. Yes. I, I want to. I want to go to uh, this uh, question of excommunication. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Pentecostal Church, as you said, you're from a Pentecostal Church. Uh, do you excommunicate people? 
Not really. No. Not really. Yeah. If a lady is pregnant in the church before uh, marriage, what do you do with that? We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't punish them. You don't. Yeah, we don't punish them. We help them. They are going to we hold protect hell. them. No, they are not going to hell. But you said if they sin, they go to hell. If they lie, they go to hell. Yeah, after pregnancy. Uh, doesn't mean when you are pregnant. I'm saying if, if pregnancy, if sex before marriage is it's a sin. sin. It's sin. It's a sin. So, but they don't go to hell because of that. That's why I said repentance. If I if did they, it, yeah. I repent, I become pregnant after repentance, yeah. then I don't go to hell. Okay. Because I have repented from it. Yeah. Pregnancy but, is a result yeah. of the sin. Yeah. And repentance doesn't stop the result. Yeah, so, but excommunication, do you excommunicate them? We don't. You don't? We believe that their sins are forgiven. What do you do? You leave them in the church? I leave them in the church. Okay. We protect them. It's just due to the judgment of the people, we can just relocate the responsibilities. Okay. If he, she was a worshiper, uh -huh. we relocate to some place where she would say, but we okay. don't throw them outside and we don't say, you sit here, you don't do anything. We don't judge them. We are not okay. judging. But okay. what we do, we win them back okay. to Christ. Well, what about drunkards? Drunkards. The drunkards, people who get drunk and they come to church mm -hmm. and you know that these ones, they, they are saved. Jesus by died for them. What we need to do, we need to win them. How to win them? We create the activities that will accommodate them, okay. activities that will help them to be okay. okay. Yeah. Everyone wants repentance. Everyone wants to be okay. Everyone okay. wants to change. Okay. What but if they continue in sin? In sin. Yeah. I think after they accept Jesus Christ, after we do our pro spiritual process. I'm talking about the born again. So I'm talking about people again. who have accepted Christ continuing in sin. Continuing in sin. It's yeah. a decision because we are going to hell. They're going to hell. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tithe. Amen. Yeah, tithe. Amen. <clears throat> Do people pay tithe or they return tithe? They pay tithe according to the book of Malachi. They don't return it. They said give tithe. Okay. They give tithe. They, they, they give tithe. Yes. They're paying. Yes. They're paying you tithe. No, they don't, they don't pay me. Who do they they pay? honor God with their tithes and offerings. Does it go to God, that money? No. The same way God cannot come down, you take the money and preach to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where does it go? It goes to the man who's preaching to them. It depends on the church. Other churches, it goes to the church account, whereby it will manage, will be managed. Many churches do it. I do okay. also. Mm -hmm. But again, it goes to the, the person who's responsible for tithe is okay. a priest. Okay, a person who's a businessman and mm -hmm. owns a very big company yes. and uh, he makes millions of rents, yes. is he supposed to pay 10%? He's, he's supposed to pay 10%. 10 percent of his millions? Yes. So if he's, let's say he's making profit of 10 million every month, uh, you're saying he's supposed to give you a million? One million. One he's million. supposed to print one million too. Okay. I'm also a businessman. A businessman. Okay. I pay tithes. Okay. So, so what about uh, companies that have uh, businessmen, owners of the business who, who get salary? Mm -hmm. Because that profit is not his. Mm -hmm. it, it belongs to the company. If he has made a profit of 10 million, if he has made a profit of 1 million rands, that's not his. It belongs to the company. And he pays salaries. Mm -hmm. So when you say he gives you 10% of that 10 million, is it after the expenses or he gives you the 10 million before expenses? I, 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 I say, if, People, some, you go ahead. if somebody has to take pay, pay, pay tax, it doesn't matter how much he pay the workers, he has to give tight. So mm -hmm. then the same way, he, before he can pay everyone, he must give tithe ten percent of the profit and yeah. pay the workers, because yeah. that is a it's, it's a it's a principle coming from the word of God. Yeah. Now, now I'm talking about an, a person who's an owner of a company who owns a company, yes, sir. and then he also gets salary, Amen. salary from his the, company, the company. Yeah. Yes. not the money that the company makes. You are saying if the company m makes a profit of mm. 10 million, he must give the church 1 million. Mm. But now you are not telling me about his salary. Yes. If his salary, let's say he makes 10 million every mm. month, which is profit, mm. but his salary is 50,000. 50, 
I'm saying this because of... So is it salary or is it percentage from the profit? Uh, mm, I would say the per percentage from the profit. The reason why? Mm -hmm. It is own company. It's a blessing from the Lord. As long as it's a blessing from the Lord, it's his own farm. Okay. Then we cannot say if I have a farm, mm. I must bring 10%. Uh, Apostle Jackson, I would like us to talk more about that when you mm. come again. Amen. You know, because uh, it's the viewers are really <coughs> uh, watching and listening to us talking about 10%. You've got businessmen who will say, talk about liabilities yeah. and say, uh, what do you say about liabilities? and or unlimited liabilities here's a person who's got unlimited liabilities he must pay everything but you are saying before he pays his workers mm -hmm. people who are working he must take out 10 percent from the profit of and, and give it to the church to go. okay and these ones who are working they will give 10 percent and then you as a pastor as an apostle where do you tithe and one day I would love to speak about that. As a pastor, I have a pastor. I cannot pray for you, yet somebody's not praying for me. So as a, as a pastor, as a prophet, as an apostle, there is somebody above me. Yeah. The same way people do to me, I do to somebody. The same way people account to me, I account to some, somebody. The Bible says, and then I, I shall give account over their souls. Even myself, mm. there is somebody give account over my soul. Yeah. We call it submission. So the same way they do to me, I do to somebody else. Yeah. And then that's why I'm saying today, the same way they give it to the text, they must give to the 10% to the Lord. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Apostle Mukwen, the Christian church yeah. has so many divisions and has so many uh, local churches and denominations under the umbrella of Christianity. Don't you think that Christianity is not organized? But the Bible says, I think one day we'll speak about the prophetic. But let me say this. The Bible says in the last days, false prophets will arise. And the, 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 the same I'm way, talking about denominations. denominations. They've been there. Um, denominations have been there. I'll come back Before, to when we talk about Martin Luther, the, the reformer, that's yeah. when you started breaking the church and other. There are a lot of de denominations. Yeah. And, and, and when you talk about prof false prophets, they come in the name of uh, yeah. Pentecostals. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I say the same way the Bible says. There's, don't you think that it's because they can see that Pentecostals are not together, we're divided. You've got your own church, the other one has got his own church. And this Christianity is not organized. When you look at other religions, they are together. I have an they answer. are one. I have an answer. You have an answer? Mm. Yeah, okay. The, the church is organized. It's organized? And okay. Then, and then it's just the people, they don't agree. Mm. We, we should say they don't agree. The, is the church the one? Doctrine. Is the church one? The, 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 the same Pentecostal. I will say in the house we are five, and then we don't speak the same. Everyone believes this, and everyone believes it. But we're still but in we're the talking, same. Remember, subject. we're talking about the religion and the comparing religion. it with other religions. Yes. Other religions are one. Mm -hmm. When you look at other, I don't know, even want to mention them, but they are together. Amen. With the Christian uh, religion, and you find denominations and all. That's why I'm saying I have an answer. It's just the, the understanding of the operation is it's a problem some of the and it caused by the trainings and equipment when we equip people before they become the pastors where well, i have to believe that this one is good is a hand and this one is an eye and they operate differently so we need to appreciate each other we need to embrace each other but the biggest problem that we have here is the issue of we don't doctrine it happened in the book of acts whereby they disagree on the doctrine not the gospel the gospel is of jesus christ we are one on that we so the did gospel. you say people have spirit body and soul yes sir. and then they are they are custodians of the image of god amen and then those who are liars and who sin they they they, they are going to hell they go to hell. with the spirit of god taking the spirit of god to hell no before you lie there will be a warning from the spirit of god but if you force it you go to hell and then they... who, who what goes to hell is it the body the soul the spirit what goes to hell the soul the soul yes okay the body goes to grave and, and the, the souls will go to hell and the image of god the image of god that's what i'm saying the image of god is, a, is a well, what's the difference of the image of god and the spirit of god the two different things the spirit of the lord is the holy spirit but the image of god is a soul is a create 
creation that you created behind it. So it's the image of God. But the soul, it's what we live for. That's why okay. God is going to be judged. Okay, the soul, was the soul created or there's a pre-existence of the soul? That's it, it was just created. That's why God came and God brought created the soul. The soul. Yeah, okay. the soul is the image of God. Okay. Not this body we see, but the okay. soul. But the body is the is the soil. But this, there is a soul that the image of God. Well, well, if, if there's no God, what is it that, that you're going to lose? There is God. I'm saying, what if if there's no God? Yes. Because you know God by reading the Bible, right? Amen. Only. Amen. Only by reading the Bible. Yes. And then what if what if the Bible was written by men? But under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and I'm I saying mean, that, <laughs> that's what you were told that yeah. under the inspiration of yeah. God. Yeah. What if it was not under the inspiration of God? What about other books that are not included in the Bible? That's what I'm saying. After my research. What about mm. other books that are not included? Do you know that there are books that are not included in the Bible? Yes, I know. Which ones? There's a book of Enoch. Yeah. It's not included there. Why? Give me an example of the book of Enoch. Yeah. I think the people who are packaging the Bible, it is not important. They package what is important, again, by the influence of the Holy Spirit. So there are many books that were not in the Bible. Was it packaged by white people or black people? I don't believe on the skin. I believe of somebody that get the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I don't believe on the skin on that you issue. Don't believe on the skin. I can see skin. Okay, but but uh, the Bible that you read and the commentaries that you read were written yeah. by people. By you people. read com commentaries? Yes, I, be, I, I read. In Bible dictionaries? Yes. They were written by people. Yes. So you believe in those people who wrote that? No, the same way God has called me. There are yeah. specific people. Yeah. God called them to do the specific task. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. In the Bible... There are people who are not called, right? They're not. And how do you know that you're called? Maybe you're not called. You're just self-appointed. What if you've just self-appointed? No, you, you, every calling, you know. How do you know that you're called? That God spoke to me. When? Either to the man of God. The God spoke to you? Yes. Through people? Either to the man of God. It are true directly through me. But as for me, two God spoke came, to me. Yeah. Yes. How did he audibly? It was a vision. He came to me. I'm saying audibly. <laughs> audibly. Did God speak to you audibly? Yes, he spoke to me. Audibly. Like I'm talking to you. I want to explain to you how. <laughs> That's why I'm 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 coming. Like you talk Did to he me? talk to you like uh, me talking to you? No, he sent the man of God who came and spoke to me. He yeah. said that God has called you. Yeah. One, two, three will happen. And it happened. Yeah. And then I agreed that God has called you. Okay. Yes. Uh, Apostle Jackson, thank you so much. When are you going back to Lesotho? Today. You only came for this program? Yes. I'll come back again anytime. We would like you to come back again. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. God bless you. Thank you, sir.